I'm Vanessa with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Star Seeker 132. The box is somewhat heavy, so when you pick it up, make sure to lift with your legs. This is what you should expect to see when you open up your box. A box for the optical tube, a box for the fork arm and hand controller, a box for the tools and accessories, your tripod legs, your accessory tray, instruction manual, and Starry Night software. Here's what you should expect to see once you've unpacked everything. Your optical tube, hand controller, accessory tray, screwdriver if you need it, easy finder 2, two eyepieces, fork arm, battery pack, two inch and one and a quarter eyepiece adapters, collimation cap, RS-232 cable, and your tripod legs. So first, you want to take your tripod legs and extend them all the way. Take your accessory tray and thread it from the bottom up with the knob. Place your hand controller in the hand controller socket and just let it rest there for now. Take the fork arm and place it in and thread the knob on the bottom all the way until top. When attaching the optical tube, you want to make sure this part is turned all the way up and unthread it until it's not blocking the saddle. Then take the optical tube with the dovetail and slide it in. Make sure that your eyepiece is facing out and tighten the screw. Your optical tube is now attached. These are your eyepiece adapters, two inch and one and a quarter. If you're going to be doing deep sky observing, you may want to go with the two inch. If you're going to be doing more lunar and planetary viewing, you may want to go with the one and a quarter. You can interchange your eyepiece adapters however you see fit by slipping them in and out. Once you've made your decision, make sure to tighten down both thumb screws. When you're ready to use your telescope, take the hand controller and plug it into its appropriate port on the back side of the mount. Take your battery pack holder and take out the battery pack and install your eight AA batteries on both sides and plug it in also into its appropriate port on the back side. Take your finder scope, loosen the thumb screw, make sure the big part's facing that way, and slip it in and tighten it down. When you're ready to start using your telescope, take your lower power eyepiece, usually a 25 millimeter, and slip it in and tighten down your setting screws. Your telescope is now fully assembled and ready to be used to view the night sky. Thank you for watching.